Hello everyone. So in this problem, I have to find uh, V of T, which is the voltage across the capacitor um, for T greater than zero. So as you can see here, the question that I have, um, we have a switch in this question. And um, what I need to do, I have to find the initial condition for my capacitor because I know that my capacitor is a, an energy storage element, right? So it should have a, um, an initial condition unless it is stated that the initial condition is equal to zero, all right? So here, before um, the switch is turned from point A to point B, so it says that at T equal to zero, my switch will go to uh, position B. Okay, so it will, it will be disconnected from A and it will go to position B, all right? Then I need to find V of T for after T equal to zero, basically for T greater than zero, right? But before that, I have to find the initial condition for my capacitor. So what we know about the capacitor is that the voltage across the capacitor cannot change instantaneously, right? So we know that voltage of the capacitor before time t equal to zero will be equal to voltage across the capacitor right after time t equal to zero, okay? So they will not change. Now, if I find the voltage of the capacitor before time t equal to zero, so the instance before t equal to zero, then I will have the initial condition of my capacitor. It means that when t is equal to zero, when the switch changed the position, um, we still have that initial condition in the capacitor. All right, so obviously here you can see that before time t equal to zero, our circuit looks like this. So the red part, right? Because the other part of the circuit on the right are being disconnected. So here is the circuit that I have. So let's see what is the voltage of the capacitor in this um, circuit that you can see here in red. Okay, so obviously I have V of S over here and here I only have a wire. So the voltage across the capacitor before time T equal to zero is equal to V of S, all right? So I can say here that the voltage of the capacitor and since it says V of T, I'm just calling it V. So V of zero, the instant before T is equal to zero is equal to V of zero positive and that is equal to Vs which is equal to 12 volts which is uh, being specified here. So now at time t equal to zero my switch changed it pos its position right and I need to find V of t when t is greater than zero. So when t is greater than zero my circuit looks like this. So I have my capacitor I have the initial condition of my capacitor. Don't forget about that. And then we have, um, because my capacitor, it has some initial condition, right? And then we have our resistor. So my resistor is 10. Then here, since I'm going to find V of T, so I have, uh, and I have this initial conditions, you remember, as we talked in class, we are um, taking our circuit to the S domain, find V of S, and then go back to the time domain. So for capacitor, I know that C, when I want to find it in the S domain, is one over CS, right? So I have 100 millifarads. So when C is equal to 100 millifarads, then that is equal to 0 0.1 farads, right? 1 tenth. So if I write it here, it is 1 over 1 tenth F, and that will be 10 over S. So my capacitor is 10 over S, and the initial condition of my capacitor is V of 0 over S, which is equal to 12 over S. And then I have my um, resistor over here. So what I'm looking for, I'm looking for the voltage across my capacitor, right? So my capacitor and its initial voltage, uh, its initial condition, its initial voltage, they are, so this 
dotted line is representing my capacitor, right, in the T domain. So in the T domain, you can see that the voltage across the capacitor was V of T. So here, the voltage across my capacitor, I'll write it as V, uh, capital V, because we are in the S domain, all right? So it's, uh, if I find V here, and then I um, take the Laplace inverse of this V, I can find V of T in the time domain, all right? Okay, so if in my circuit here I have I, so from here on, whatever circuit analysis that you know will work. Okay, as I said before, whichever method that you are familiar or you're more comfortable with will, will work. All right, so what I will do is that I will say that my V, I know that is equal to 10I, right? Because the voltage across the capacitor is equal to this voltage across my resistor right? So V is equal to 10I. So it's enough if I can find I and then I multiply it by 10 in order to find V, all right? So if I write a KVL here in this loop, in this mesh, um, so I'm going to have minus 12 over S plus 10 over S multiplied by I plus 10I is equal to zero, all right? And my goal is to find I here. So I have 10, um, 10 over S. But if I just take the common denominator over here, I'm gonna have 10 plus 10 S over S multiplied by I, that is equal to 12 over S, right? So the S will be canceled. And then I'm gonna have I equal to 12 over 10 plus 10 s, right? So I have i, then I can find v easily by multiplying my i by 10. So it is 12, 10 plus 10 s. That would give me 12 over s plus one. All right, so what I have right now is my voltage in the s domain, the voltage across the capacitor in the s domain. What I need to do is to take the inverse Laplace transform of this V in the S domain in order to find the voltage in the time domain. So V of T is equal to inverse Laplace of V. Basically, this is V of S, right? So this is V of S because we are in the S domain. And that would be the Laplace inverse of, so basically this is 12 multiplied by 1 over S plus 1 and that is equal to 12 e to the negative t u of t volts. All right, so in these kind of questions, as I mentioned before, we have to take the circuit to the, to the S domain, and you have to be careful that we have equivalent circuits for the inductor and the capacitor in the S domain. So you have to make sure that you are um, considering the initial conditions of the capacitor and the inductor. And then when you find the variable that um, you are expecting, then you can just take the inverse Laplace transform in order to find that variable in the time domain. All right. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.